Hello everyone, my name is Kendall Davis and I am a student here at Roan State Community College. Today I am here with Ms. Brenda Luigi, who is the Professor of Music and also a part of the Roan Choral Society. So Brenda, what is the event that you guys have coming up? So this Saturday, November 23rd at 3 p.m., we'll be at the First Baptist Church in Lenore City, and we're giving a Thanksgiving-themed concert, which is a little bit different. Most of the time, as we get closer to Thanksgiving, everybody's focused on Christmas already. It's definitely one of my personal pet peeves that we get to Christmas before Thanksgiving. So um, this season is all about holidays. So each of our major events lands around a holiday. So this particular concert is all focused on Thanksgiving music. Um, a lot of that tends to be sacred, anthem kind of style songs that you might hear in a church service, but we have some other really interesting songs in there as well. We have some gospel, we have some musical theater, some pop, um, a Ghanaian folk song, so some world music. Um, we're just all over the map, but it's all about gratitude and thankfulness. Three o'clock at First Baptist Church in Lenore City this Saturday the 23rd. Will there be any special guests at this event? There sure will. So um, we have a few things that we do each uh, season that we're going to do in this particular concert, one of which is children's choirs. Um, so we have uh, a children's choir specific to Lenore City for this concert, and um, they're going to sing Simple Gifts under the direction of Robin Maker. Um, we will also have our new um, director, Associate Director Paul Davis, conducting some of the things at the end of the concert. Um, we also have a commission piece. Every season we um, commission a composer that has some kind of connection to East Tennessee or to Roan State or Roan Choral Society or someone within the organization. Um, and this year it's Dr. Mark Douglas, who is a personal friend of mine from graduate school. But he and his wife Emily, who will also be a soprano soloist, um, have spent some time at University of Tennessee before moving on to their next uh, appointments. And so um, it's a wonderful piece called Gratitude uh, that he has written for us, so we'll premiere that as well in this concert. So lots of, lots of special things happening in this program. So we also have a small ensemble directed by our associate director, Paul Davis. Um, and the small ensemble is made up of almost entirely Roan State alumni um, and the, or Roan State faculty. Um, the one who is not, we have considered a, an honorary raider. But um, it's really a, a wonderful uh, small group of about 10 singers. And we're doing a couple of uh, really challenging a cappella pieces on this concert as well. So now I'm here with... Uh, my name is Haley Heap. I'm a part of the Roan State Community Chorus, uh, but I'm attending Roan State, so I'm actually a part of the class. So what does rehearsal look like for you? So whenever you sign up um, for the class, you're offered three different campuses. I'm at the Harriman campus. Compared to high school, I think it's a bit more challenging, but also um, the actual pieces we're working on are a lot more involved. Like we have much more emotional pieces. When you know the basics of what you're doing, it's easier to do more complex things, which can get you more interested in it. So now I'm here with Amanda PB House, who is the president of the Rome Choral Society. Amanda, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Amanda, and I am the president, the current president of Rome Choral, but I also am an adjunct professor here at Rome State. In fact, my first experience with Rome Choral was when I was a student here at Rome State, and we collaborated with Roan Choral Society all the way back then. I won't say how many years now, but um, it's been a few. <laughs> now, what is the Roan Choral Society? So the Roan Choral Society is a, is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that serves Roan, Loudoun, and Anderson counties. Um, and we serve them musically by providing a community chorus with meaningful musical experiences for people in those counties. Actually, probably any county we would accept. <laughs> um, we also give music grants to local um, schools in varying amounts. Is there anything new going on with this organization? Yeah, we have a number of new things that are happening. Due to our expansion, we've had to expand our staff. So we now have um, accompanists that are on both, on all three campuses, the Loudoun, the Roan, and the Anderson County campus. In Loudoun County, we have Dustin Lynn, who's a wonderful pianist, as well as in Anderson County, Matthew Fisher, and here at Roan County we have had for a substantial amount of time um, Slade Trammell who also is an adjunct professor at Roan State. Um, the two people in the children's choruses in Loudoun County is Robin Maker 
and in Anderson County it is Mason Van Horn. Roan State and Roan Coral are all about community. We're trying to seek many ways to bring in as many people as we can to do as many good things as we can. To learn more about this concert as well as other concerts or other events that Roan Coral Society holds during the season, you can visit us at RoanCoralSociety.org at our website or you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Roan Coral Society.